basically something that takes the uh, fingerprint of light that's emitted or reflected by any object, and it's currently used throughout chemistry to identify substances. And most spectrometers are about, like portable spectrometers, are about $78,000. And so we've been coming up with other versions of spectrometers. So this is just a, a tube with a slit cut in the end and a broken piece of CD. Um, and then you can take a photograph of the spectra that's cast inside of the tube. And this is our version, which somebody can set up tomorrow if they're interested in, which is a webcam, basically, and a broken CD and a stage. And so one of the things that we'll be interested in seeing this weekend is if uh, you can start using the spectrometer to identify common hazards like PHAs, uh, polyaromatic hydrocarbons, and other uh, substances in the Guan's Canal. So this is one project that you can, can hack on, and we can show you how to set up if people are interested in DIY spectrometry. And so along with this kit, we have an online set, called a, an online piece of software called the Spectral Workbench, where you can upload your spectra and compare and contrast them. So this is a set of spectra somebody took of uh, different kinds of wine. Um, and basically the idea is, can we use this kit, which costs you know about $3, to start identifying any kinds of chemicals? The next uh, tool we're going to be talking about here is our environmental estrogen screening. So environmental estrogens are chemicals that can act like hormones and disrupt development. And there's uh, lots of reasons why we want to study environmental estrogens in the environment. So there's been a 42% decrease in sperm rates in the Western world in the past 30 years. There's been a dramatic increase in breast and prostate cancer um, and in things like hyperspadia. And they, people link that to chemicals that are in our everyday products like plastic clear hard plastics have bisphenol A, and chewy plastics have phthalates in them, which are estrogens. Many of our personal care products act like estrogens, and many herbicides and pesticides act like estrogens. And so it's becoming a, a very well-recognized environmental health issue. In 2001, uh, the USGS so found that 80% uh, of surveyed water in America had pharmaceuticals and flame retardants and fertilizers that could act like estrogens, and they found that an amazing number of fish in US streams have, uh, have uh, intersexuality problems. So the male fish are expressing uh, feminized features and they associate that with exposure to estrogens in the environment. So we're working on a yeast estrogen screen where you can, basically, it's a genetically modified yeast that responds to estrogens in the environment and glows. Um, and there's two problems with the assay right now and that's that that glowing is too, uh, faded to be able to see with the naked eye, so we want to create a DIY luminometer. So that's another project that's on the table for this weekend, is thinking about how they maybe use the spectrometer to capture the fluorescence from these yeast. And the other project is trying to hack the yeast to give them a pigment color, that purple slide.